I can give you two. I'll try to keep them short. The first one would be about career. Okay. And career in the sense of self-discovery. Actually, there's three, but I'll stick with this one to start with. Uh, this one is related to the time that I went into work for the bank back in 1995. And I go into work that day and, uh, you know, I'm having a ball and uh, another good day at the office. And I wouldn't say I loved my job, but I would say it, it met a lot of needs. I was working in a bank as a part-time assistant manager, customer service. And, you know, I was that crazy kook that was the artist that would secretly bring the paintings in and hide them under the desk and then show them to the right people at the counter, right? And then get back to work again. Um, but anyways, it was a, and I, but I did a good job and I was well-liked and everything. And I, then I was asked to come into the, office, the, the manager's office and there was someone else there. And suddenly I was being told that my services were no longer required. I expected maybe a, a, a pat on the back for the, the, the great stuff I was doing, but instead it was, I'm sorry to let, let you down like this more, but we just don't need you anymore. We're downsizing, brought in an extra uh, AT machine and uh, you know we just have, we're cutting back on staff. And I was escorted back to my desk to get my cup and my sweater and walked out the door. And I went to the car, sat in the parking lot. And what I haven't told you is that I had just become single. I was a single mom with three kids. One month earlier, my ex-husband had moved out and now I lost my job. And I sat in the car, didn't know what I was gonna do, started to bawl my eyes out and turned on the radio and two songs came on. The first one was, let her cry, for she's a lady. And the second one was, it'll be all right. And I went home and started thumbing through the newspaper. And lo and behold, there were a few challenges to overcome. Things miraculously, though, started falling into place because I got into action. I went back to school, and I ended up getting a diploma that winter and corporate communications at Seneca College, commuting back and forth, figuring it out. And the discovery for me in the process was, I can do anything I set my mind to, that I'm, an, I'm a survivor, that I can overcome and that I can pivot, I can reinvent myself.